the International Week, which was held a few months ago. Uh, we, as international students, organized uh, the week. It was a 10-day week whereby we had to do presentations as well as do uh, other activities. For example, the presentations included uh, uh, what the culture is and traditions that are being performed yes, in that specific uh, uh, it's a college country. where you not only get yourself groomed in your studies or your day routine life, but yes, your personality is, I suppose, the best which has been operating, which you tend to, you know, change. You come as a guy who is not, uh, who have never shaved in his life, who has never known what is a suit, what is a shirt, or what is a tie, and now he's I joined very um, PCT in 2010 as one of the foreign students. And it was, I expected a lot because it was a new environment with lots of new changes. And um, as foreign students, there have been different activities around that have kept us like together, joined with the other students. Me and my friends used to discuss something like, and I just say I've been part of entrepreneurship still in the graduate itself, and which is something colleges are not preferring, not laying so much of the uh, stress over this business administration at the this graduation This is level. something uh, which has helped me in thinking of being an entrepreneur, shaped my idea, just given me that thrill to just go for that move. And I think uh, PCT is the place where a student should get uh, his admission because the student will need to build his career. and. Uh, uh, this place, this place, it, it is. is a place where uh, you can either put the foundation of your future career through your undergrad studies, but it's in the same time the place where you can get connected to the industry, where you can do and discover it more and more. PCT about a decade ago, that was about 2003, and um, we had a bunch of half a dozen kids who walked in. And since then, there's been no looking back. We then added Tanzania and uh, Uganda and Rwanda and Namibia and Mozambique and other international students as well. For example, there are Asians from Afghanistan and Bhutan, etc. And then there are, is a student from Macedonia and Europe. And uh, we have a regular exchange with French students um, we've just recently graduated a uh, postgraduate from New York. When we talk about the Indian cultures, I like it because I've spent it almost two years now. It is an interesting culture. Our friends within my class, our friends within other departments like BBA, uh, although all of them have traveled in many places, they have shown me their cultures, how they do, how they dance, how they do things, how they eat. They are really interesting and I'm happy with them. That is Punjab College of Technical Education started in 1999. We started with three courses, MBA, BBA and BCA and about 110 students. And today it is the 15th year and we have now 13 courses and it is now a PCD group of institutes and we have four colleges affiliated to our group. And we are into diverse fields like Business management, computer applications, hotel management, pharmacy, airlines, biotechnology. Our B school has been rated as one of the best in the three states of northern India. These three states, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh, and Jammu and Kashmir, are very, very big states in north of India. And various media houses have rated us. We can look at India as... also from a different perspective. We can look at India culturally speaking. It is an extremely diverse and extremely culturally rich country. So studying in India means not only studying in a different country, but means studying in a country that have a huge potential and studying in a country from where you can learn a lot of things. Studying in a country where you can discover a lot of, uh, of elements that might enrich your knowledge, might enrich you as a person.